It is so great seeing my next guest back in action. He's going to be fighting Stephen Regman this Saturday, Maverick MMA 19. It's Olawale Bambos joining me here on the program. Olawale, how are you, sir? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, you guys? Hey, nothing much, man. Excited to see you compete again. Uh, tell me how this all came together with uh, you fighting for Maverick. Uh, I mean, to be honest, you know, that comeback was well overdue. So uh, an opportunity came up where I was able to, you know, talk to the Maverick, Maverick owner. He knows of me, and uh, he actually respects me as a martial artist. So we were able to make it happen, negotiate some terms, and boom, here you go. Title fight, 185 division against a pretty solid opponent. Yeah, no, we're excited for the fight. Uh, you talked about it there. December 2017 was the last time we saw you in action. Um, why was the layoff? Was it just, you know, not the right opportunity? I know you got a gym as well. What was the reason for the layoff? I mean, to be honest, just uh, a lot of things, man. Just It's just scary how, you know, when things when one thing doesn't work out, it's like a domino effect, and it, and it just affects everything else. So that Alicio fight was unfortunate because I was injured fighting him. And I don't like coming up with excuses. I don't like, you know, talking shit. Uh, well, I like talking shit, but, I, you know, I don't like um, I don't like excuses that pertain to why one loss, you know, you know, losing with honor to me is all about, you know, making sure you're 100 percent. So when you lose, there's no, oh, there was this or that, you know, and with Alicio, oh, head kicks, man. And you see in one of his losses to uh, the one of my Ghanaian brothers, my African brothers, you know, he got laced with a head kick. You know, I couldn't throw a head kick because my hip was compromised. I, I, I nearly died, man. I fell through a roof. I was a cable guy. Uh, at the time while I was a, a UFC fighter and you know I had to make ends meet so I did what I could to just juggle a job unfortunately that was the wrong job to juggle with the position uh the UFC position that I had at the time but I you know I just needed money so I did what I did it was a risk that was not worth it and I, I ended up fighting a fight that I shouldn't have took you know um but it is what it is you know we're back on track you know I also needed to get coaching uh you know uh, solidified and uh it's also just being a better place you know internally you know and and, and just remember what, what it is that that got me into this this thing in the first place this you know this sport in the first place like my passion my love for it and i was able to regain all of that you know i mean five years is a long time but you know it's better than not coming back at all you know and, I, and yeah. I'm, I'm a man of my word so if i say i'm gonna do something i'm gonna fucking do it man. <laughs> and, and we're gonna see it on saturday man uh, was, was, yes, was retirement ever on your mind during that period because again five years is a long time i mean to be honest i should have took time off from that fight that fight i should have the Alicia fight, I should have uh, either either rescheduled it or I should have um, maybe, pro, you know, maybe took maybe, maybe took a retirement, some of, something of that nature. But, you know, us fighters have rights. We have to use that. You know, if you're injured, dude, don't fight. It's not worth it. You know, I don't care what it is. It's not worth it, man. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm understanding. Fuck that warrior shit, that tough guy stuff. Not No. You know, if you're injured, you know, you should be brave enough to tell, tell you know, tell a promoter who should respect you and say, you know what? Yeah. You know, you fight when you're when you're when you're when you're 100. Is there anything you feel like you've improved on since the last time we saw you, or maybe anything you're looking to showcase in those five years? Because I know you've been in the gym a lot. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm itching to sh to, to just show overall my uh, entire repertoire of you know creative techniques, you know flashy stuff, powerful stuff, of course. Uh, definitely been implementing more elbows and knees, devastating techniques because you know elbows and knees they cut motherfuckers up. But it is what it is, you know. Uh, it's something that I really haven't really worked on and it's hard to work in practice because you you know you don't want to hurt your teammates but you you still got to get it done because your opponent is <laughs> trying to take your head off with, with with some of the most devastating devastating techniques so you need to be able to defend and or unleash the same uh havoc so i work worked that as well obviously being flashy being calm cardio of course running you know uh making sure i'm in the rounds you know building that confidence too with guys my size as well very important i was able to go to aka you know, move around with some of those guys, some of the best grapplers in the world. They had some top-notch 185ers as well I was able to move around with. And I feel good, man. I'm ready. You know, I'm ready. I can tell, man. You seem ready from this interview. It's great. What was the connection to ATT? How did you end up training down there? Um, you know, DC is awesome. You know, he's always been a, a, just a, a good encourager, you know, of um, a, a, an, and or, how can I say, uh, ambassador for MMA. And I respect him, man. He's a legend. You know, and I told him years ago that I wanted to go to AKA. I mean, five years goddamn later, and finally I was able to, you know, to, to follow up on that request. But yeah, he was, he obliged it. I was able to link up with Darren Wynn, got some rounds in with him and some other guys at AKA too. And uh, yeah, man, it, it, you know, it, it's it, it good to embrace such a reference. And that's how I was able to get connected to AKA, met some of the dope coaches over there too. And at some point I, I plan on building better rapport with them so that 
you know, I could be able to fly them out, you know. And like like I said, you know, it's not easy being a fighter because you got to take care of the coaches. And yes, you have to pay gym fees, you know, you got to pay for their flights, food, all that kind of stuff. So I'm working all that out, you know. And as a fighter, you have to be able to plan and detail all these things because no coach wants to train fighters for free. So, you know, working on all those things. Um, you, uh, how about the weight cut? Uh, you said you've been running a lot. How, how's that going after five years off getting down to 85? Uh, you know, 185 has always been my natural, in my opinion, my natural uh, weight. Perhaps I could fight at um, a at 170, but you know, I, I already see myself as too slim as it is. You know, I'm I'm, I'm decently muscular, but you know, I don't want to have to lose muscle, the little, you know, the medium muscle that I have, just to you know, freaking make 170. So, 185 is fine. You know, the running isn't really doing much uh, as far as like. Um, you know, depleting my muscle. So that's, a, that's not, it's not an issue. No, no issue. Who's going to be in your corner for this fight? I'm going to let that be a surprise, brother. I'm going to let that be a surprise. Okay. I like it. I like it. Yeah. How, do you, how, how do you envision the fight playing out on May 21st? How do you see it going down? Uh, to be honest, uh, let's see where it goes. Wherever the fight goes, I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable, honestly. Uh, Regimen is a solid striker, decent grappler. Uh, he's pretty well-rounded. So am I. So we'll, we'll see what, what one of us has to show to have that edge and, and like i mentioned big fight there's a title it's a main event what's what's the plan after this are you just taking it fight to fight not looking past saturday but i'm sure you have an idea of where you want your career to go from here yeah uh, to be honest uh you know uh allowing this fight to research my career and then from there taking it one fight at a time and hopefully you know before it's all said and done because i'm not trying to fight forever uh you know hopefully one or two years max man maybe three uh depending okay. on how things go but uh, yeah, man, you know, signing with a solid promotion uh, that, you know, that pays, you know, well uh, and that respects, you know, my talent, my worth and, uh, the, you know, the time that I've put in and, uh, you know, great matchups too. You know, hopefully I can be able to sign with a promotion that has solid 185ers that will allow me to climb the ranks and earn a, a chance to fight for uh, another title, you know, um, and then go from there. You know what I mean? Uh, and just, just end things on a better note. You know, if I'm going to retire from MMA, I want to, I want to retire with, with W's. Yeah, no, understandable. Um, and then, you know, as far as the rest of the year goes, would you like to get a couple more fights in this year to kind of make up for lost time or it has to be the right matchup? Like you were saying, maybe one or maybe one or two, but I, I, I don't really care about the matchup setup. I mean, I mean, as I should, but I've never been one to be like, Oh, you know, I want to fight a can, you know what I mean? But yeah, uh, it's all about, it all depends on my body, man. If my body's good. Then, then sure. I'll, I'll be ready to go. That, I think that's really what it what it's contingent on. And just last question, uh, you kind of referenced it a little bit there, but but as far as uh, you know, making money right now, I know uh, you've been off for five years. Is, has it just been the gym? Is that what's kind of paying the bills right now? Or do you have another job on top of that? I man, that's a really good question, man. Thank God for education. You know, um, I was able to get a job, uh, essentially working for um, the, the you know the government. Um, oh, cool. I don't want to go into specifics, but you know, I have for sure. I know government stuff. You got to be yeah, kind of yeah, secretive. Yeah. That, that makes sense. A, yeah. I have a salary office job, but man, I, I need to fight, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That, that yeah, I five bet. years doing that office job, I'm like, oh, come on. I love it. But man, I, you know, if I'm going to give up MMA, I want it to be where, you know, I'm like older and like, this is all I have to do work for the rest of my life. But if I, yeah. if, if there's a way I could balance fighting, and working my and, and working my office job, which I have and which I will do, uh, until you know something gives, then then yes, because I, I can't you know just being in the office is it's not easy, man. You know what I mean? Especially being still young and able to do things. Uh, now, like I said, if I'm above forty and you know I've given MMA all I've had and you know I went out winning, then I can retire and say, you know what, this, I'm going to embrace this office job. I had a dope career, uh, and you know in MMA, and now I'm ready to, to the, for the next chapter boring chapter but you know blessing anyway you know it's a job uh i'm ready i'm ready to enter that and continue with that that job you know what i mean but for now it's balancing the gym training you know um uh obviously my office job and uh and also pouring into guys too man this new generation man you know i i really take a, a liking into helping this, these these guys you know better themselves as mixed martial artists and that's also what resurged my passion too you know seeing them fight coaching them and just saying man i gotta get in there and show them how it's done yeah and we're gonna see that all come to fruition here this saturday maverick mma 19 it's gonna be live on spectation sports and you can check it out uh in person you got to go to the event uh Oluwale, thanks for doing this man anyone you want to thank 
Any any sponsors, any social media you want to plug? I'll give you oh, the last man, word. I have so much, man. Uh, to my gym affiliates and uh, Life Health Fitness and uh, and uh, Killer Bees and Boro, Five Boro. Uh, let's say all my sponsors too, man, that have been there for me. You know, you know who you are. I'm gonna post a banner too to just commemorate you and thank you. You know, Diamond Cup, Scope, Egg Weights, all these guys. You know, listen, it's gonna be awesome showing, and I'm glad to be back. And uh, yeah, listen, I gotta do this eye exam for the ophthalmologist. You know how it is, running around yeah, and all that stuff. Yeah, of course. So let me go get that done, and uh, yeah, let's do it. Showtime.